Okay, so if you're looking at four through seven and not real sure, you may want to go back and watch one through three because one through three are the basics. But now we're doing a little bit more word problem E. So we're talking about weights, which is R cubed. We are talking about similar objects, which what tells us it's going to be an R at all. And we're going to be looking for surface area. Now the thing is, I can't go straight to R squared. I have to go all the way back to R, which would be three and two. Now, all of your calculators have some sort of a cube root possibilities. You need to know what that is. This particular one, I don't know, somewhere, is here. It has this little itsy bitsy little three. You can barely even see it, although I'll make it a little bit bigger. It's got this itsy bitsy little three up here. And since it's another color and it's not actually a, um, whatever it is, a uh, button, I would say 27 first on this calculator and then shift in that button um, and that gives me three. So again, three times three times three is 27. Um, we've been really nice. We've been giving you things that should work out nicely uh, for you to just kind of figure it out by guessing and checking. Again, I'm interested in surface areas, so I need to know what my R squared is. I now have it. And I know that the smaller is 10 and I'm looking for the larger. Oops, see, just kidding, here we go. So again, the smaller is 10, I'm looking for the larger, I'm gonna make this smaller. So I do my little cross multiply, I have 90 uh, is equal to 4L, and L is equal to 22.5. So, let's look at five. Your object, you are enlarging as a battery, you've decided to use a one to four ratio. If it says that, and it doesn't say anything else, that means R. And we need to figure out what r squared and r cubed is, which is 1 is to 16. Now, I'm not squaring that. I'm going back to here and cubing the 4, which is 64, I think, yeah, 64. And um, I am talking about weight, so I would say 1 is to 64, as my original 2 ounces is to my new weight. So I do my little cross multiply, and then I'm actually done. So I get 128 easy, as in Wizard of. Okay, let's go ahead and look at number six. So we're painting, covering something, which means I'm going to be talking about R squared probably. Um, a practice on a scale model. The scale is 40 to 1. So R is 40 to 1, which means that R squared is 160. That is right, isn't it? 40 times 40? Yeah, uh, to 1. So this is my ratio of my areas. I'm talking about it takes um, 0.25 gallons to make the small one. I want to know how many gallons it makes for the big one. Now, gallons normally means volume, but I'm not filling my model with paint. I am covering it with paint, which is why we use our R squared. So we do a little cross multiply there. And I get 400 gallons. What a gal. <laughs> All right, number seven. So we are enlarging an in and out fry container, meaning we're doing it uh, in similarity ratios. The original use is square inches of cardboard. So that is R squared, people. So we are talking 30 is to 270, which means I need R and R cubed. So I do want to reduce this. Square rooting 30 is icky and yuck, but if I reduce by the tens and then reduce again, I get one ninth. And square rooting that, what, is superbly easy to do. Um, I'm talking about filling it with fries. And so it takes one order, obviously, for the small. And I want to know how many order it takes for the big. So this is my ratio that I use. And it's kind of a silly ratio. 1 is to 27 as 1 order is to how many orders, which is obviously 27 orders. All right, let's go ahead and do 8 as well so we can get all of these in one fell sweep. So this little symbol means similar. This means that R is 2 to 7, so R squared is 4 to 49, and R cubed is 2 cubed and 7 cubed. So those are all of my ratios, and I am first of all looking for volume, which means I use this. So 8 is to 343 as the volume of the large, 
is to the volume of the small. And then this one is 4 is to 49 as the volume of the large is, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm using my R squared because it's TSA, and the uh, I use 20 for the large, and I'm looking for the small. So those are my two ratios, do a little cross multiply and fun, and uh, you get your answers. So I already told my classes 0.24 for you to check your answers, and 1.63 make sure that you are doing the multiplication correctly. Thank you.